A lot of downtowns have vacant storefronts. They might be boarded up. They might just be empty. Or right next to downtown is the old warehouse district that might just be warehousing or it might be empty. And it's actually a, a drag on the economy. It's a place where people don't feel safe, rightly or wrongly. They feel like there's no reason to be there, probably rightly. And these vacancies can really have a major impact on a local economy. It creates a negative perception of a whole city. It makes people not want to start businesses in the community because they don't think there's a place to do it. And it makes people feel like it's unsafe. It even has the potential of depressing the property values of a residential area nearby because they know people know that it's near this vacant area. And vacant properties is not a new issue. It's something that we've really been plagued by for decades already. How are you gonna bring that back to life? How are you gonna create places that really are the main street of your community? Well, this is a question we get asked a lot by different people all over the country. City managers, downtown development directors, local economic developers, planning directors too. And one of the things we try to help people see is that incremental approach. How do we pick one intersection, one block as a place to start? What kinds of businesses can be the first one in? because we need businesses that aren't dependent on foot traffic to be the first ones in, or that can be a destination and a draw unto themselves as the first ones in. We start building the energy in a vacant downtown or a more vacant warehouse district for people to come together, a place for people to gather and feel included and feel like they wanna be a part of the space and invest in that space. How are you doing that in your community? Are you filling vacant downtown buildings? We wanna know from you what's working so we can share that with other people too. Do you have a great story, an example that's working? Tell us about it. 